Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 9th, 2021. I just sat down to record someone's security alarm and or it could be a fire alarm. So <laughs> the reason why I'm telling you is if somebody comes and like knocks on my door and tells me to evacuate, I'll just bring you with me and we'll evacuate, okay? But I don't know what's happening. So anyway, <laughs> August 9th, 2021, what is happening this week? What is the energy here? I just heard calm effect. There is a calm effect. Now this doesn't mean that, hey, everything's sunshine and rainbows, let's party, right? No, it means <laughs> it means we're getting better at processing all the nonsense that does happen, okay? So we're being kind of calm, centered, focused. Um, it feels like needing to take a vacation from your vacation. Uh, so there's a little bit of that. So some of you out there who might be traveling, you know, maybe that is occurring for you. There's also this feeling here of being trapped. Now, you can take that any way that you want, but it is a mental trap. So you're being trapped. Okay, this stopped. Okay, nobody evacuated us. Great. <laughs> so we're just going to keep on going here. Um, you, you're trapped in your own thoughts. Trapped in patterns. So for example, um, you know, the way I live, uh, I was just thinking today, I'm like, this is how my family members have lived. Huh, I've got it in my mind that this is just how we do things. Is that how I really wanna live or do I wanna make different choices? So we start to awaken a little bit to our own uh, tendencies, right? Do we tend to be a little fearful in love partnership and why is that? Well, you might say, well, I've, I've had bad partnerships in the past. Well, can you do something to heal that and release yourself from whatever that has done to you, okay? So that you can have a lot of healthy partnerships and relationships and things like that. So there's a kind of the, like the human aspect of it. This is a big old week of guides. <laughs> y'all asked for the ET talk, here it is. Uh, there, I don't, listen, hey, y'all, I don't know if they're gonna come swooping in with their little flying saucers and like a beam of light comes out and beans come out. I, okay, uh, but I don't know. It's more about guides, and yes, they could be starseed guides, galactic guides, but angels and archangels, who, by the way, are technically ETs. Extraterrestrial just means not of this earth. So angels are not of this earth, <laughs> right? They're looking out for us, but they're not of this earth. So just be aware of that. So if you're somebody who has not, like, for example, I deal with angels so much that my spirit guides, I don't, I mean, I touch base with them, but I don't, I haven't sat, I haven't been sitting down and having a huge session with them because all my work is so angelic. So, or, you know, tapping into angels and getting messages and messages for myself and for y'all and the whole thing, right? So this might be a good week, for example, for me to sit with my spirit guides or to sit and see what guides are coming in for me. Now, let's go down this road and this discussion. I have other content of, you know, kind of discussing this, but people often ask me, how do I know that it is a guide or an angel and not some sort of interloping soul? Now that is, um, or a soul that's trying to pose as an archangel or something like that. That does get tricky if you are very closed down in your energy. You can be taken advantage of. Think of people who go to people who are not really psychic or uh, maybe they do have a psychic ability but they're sort of a dark empath they they use it to scare people to play on their fear so that you're addicted to them and keep coming back um, just a shout out to all those tarot readers out there who say hey remember you're interpreting these messages for yourself don't take it so seriously energy can change I thank you so much for being responsible readers and that goes for oracle card readers as well but you know the ones i've always warned about would be the type that are playing on your fears that get you to feel like you have to keep coming back to them you know to, to get information before you can make a decision in your life you know readings are meant to make you think make you feel something uh that's why it's an esoteric art it's meant to make you think you know, and open your mind or get a different perspective, but it's supposed to also be empowering, okay? <laughs> so that's a pretty good gauge, even when you're connecting with your spirit guides or angels, if it doesn't feel, if it doesn't feel peaceful or good or loving or empowering, it doesn't mean the angels and your guides are gonna come in and just tell you whatever you wanna hear, absolutely not. But if you don't, if you feel kind of sick to your stomach, that's a good sign. If you start to feel jittery, uh, sit with that sit with it that's a tricky one because sometimes you can have 
Archangel Michael come in. And if you're not familiar with Archangelic energy, that presence that starts to come around you, it can start vibrating kind of not harshly because Archangel Michael's not going to come in and set you into distortion. But, you know, in your mind, you might have a little bit of fear that's coming up to the surface that makes you a little jittery. But again, even with, with that, having to adjust to a frequency of an Archangel that's coming in, you're still going to feel the love. It's like a loving excitement. A soul that's not there for you, not truly, it's, they're going to feel like a con artist. Okay. You get, you know, that feeling, that icky feeling you get from a con artist where you know, you're getting sucked in. They have no power over you. And you can say, Archangel Michael help or Archangel Michael protect me as I go into this meditation or, you know, God's purest love and light, come and help me. How, whatever you want to say, whatever you believe in, but just invoke or Jesus, if you're team Jesus, right? <laughs> Jesus, come in here and help me, you know, whatever you want. That's how you're going to be able to discern that. Now I have heard, I've been doing this a while and I have had people come to me and say, I have da 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 these are my guides and th this is the archangel that is just my spirit guide. <laughs> I've heard it all. I think <laughs> I feel like I've heard it all at least. But the whole idea here is that, you know, don't, I really feel like I have to say this like almost every week. I don't think I actually end up saying it every week, but please don't get pulled in by people who think that they are spiritually superior to you. That's a red flag. That's a red flag flag anybody who's trying to diminish you so that they put themselves on a pedestal watch out for that now conversely it's not just empaths who watch my channel I have people who actually uh you know because of the things that they that have happened to them and I have all love and compassion for that and for you of course um but what I'm getting at here is that sometimes our egos uh, we're so pained that we think that because someone's doing well, that that's an assault against us. You know, oh, you're bragging about getting engaged, right? You know, I'm single, Blah. you know, like, so what? So if it's happening in someone else's world, good for them. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? So not every, not everyone's success is, uh, an affront to you. It doesn't really have anything to do with you. Right. So this is all about balancing that perspective there and understanding. And, you know, again, just, just be cautious. So there is that, of course, we have world stuff happening all the time. Where can we show up for each other? And I am telling you, can I talk, can we talk about the oceans and all the beautiful babies that live in the ocean? <laughs> I'm not sure that some gigantic whale wants to be called a baby, but whatever, or shark or an octopus for that matter. But, um, why don't we take some time to send some energy all over the world, but specifically into the oceans. So, and to the animals, the animals need our help. Can you, can you feel there, like send love out to all the animals, the wildlife, trees, plants, other humans, um, spirits, like, you know, all of them. It's just like send love out and feel the love come back. That is an important energetic activity exercise. Let's make time for that every day. Even if you're sitting here watching this and you're like, this is stupid, I'm not doing it. I, hi, have we met? Like, <laughs> what are you doing here? If you're new, welcome. But this is what we do here, okay? We're all about the love. We, you know, we don't enable, or we try not to as much as we can here. And uh, we just try to heal. And we try to learn from one another by being each other's mirrors. So, you know, that's, that's what you're gonna get here. And today I'm getting the message to, to put out to, to you all to make sure that uh, we're, we're sending some love out to this planet, to Mother Gaia herself. Uh, so I don't know what's going to be happening. I do know what's going to be happening. <sighs> okay. I don't, mm, I, I got it. I got it. I don't know how much I can say here. Okay, so my job is to interpret and to be able to put it out there so that it doesn't get wiped away. Uh, experiments, underground, pollution, messing with the oceans. There's something under the ocean floor. Is that possible? I don't, what do I know? I don't know. <laughs> but definitely, and, and I'm getting the feeling of, this is specifically men which is interesting that this is coming up. Again, I don't know what this is, but men getting brainwashed to go and do these experiments. 
Okay, now listen, if you are a deep sea diver and you're a dude and you're watching this and you're like, what? <laughs> I didn't do it, okay? <laughs> Just please, if you do that, be very, very mindful, especially if you're a diver who, I don't know why this is coming up again, but you know, like deep sea diving photography or something like that, and it's meant to be educational, just be very ethical about entering those waters. I, I don't know why. I keep saying I don't know what this is because I don't. I'm feeling insecure about this message, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, just be very ethical about what you're putting in there. It's the same kind of thing, like, you know, be careful of sunscreen and the coral reef, okay? Like, you, you just watch what you're doing. Respect nature, respect it. I'm telling you, it's all about the oceans. So something might be happening around the oceans. Angry ocean, angry ocean. So watch choppy waves, as I say every week, especially uh, up here where I live in this part of the earth, you know, it's summertime. So be very, very careful, respect the ocean. If you get a weird feeling about it, don't go in. Could this be sharks and things like that? Yes, there's a lot. There's a lot. Preservation. Um, well, how much of that can I say? I don't know. There's this feeling of like people going in. I don't know. I don't get the feeling that we're going to get this exposed. But we're being told that this is going on. We need to send some love. Okay. Uh, but these animals are being trapped in the ocean. And I don't know why. I don't, ugh. I hope they're, I, I don't know. I think it's like, what, again, I gotta be careful what I say here. I think it's for dark reasons, okay? It's for dark reasons. And um, but they just need our love, okay? Anything else? I'm getting a lot of info here. I know, it's like, that's the most annoying thing on the planet. Like, pray for me, but I'm not gonna tell you what's going on. Or <laughs> I'm getting a message, but I can't say it. Like, I know, I know, I know. But you're empathic. Tune in. You know what I'm saying? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Telepathy <laughs> to everybody. Uh, we said experiments. We said underground things being put on the floor of the ocean. And this isn't for science. This is not for science. Like the, the, the earth is getting poached. Okay. There's a poaching of the earth. And we can't have it. Now, here's a message to some of you out there who get... Uh, super self-righteous. Okay, now there are social narcissists out there and we start waking up to that. So people who go into preserving the environment because it just makes me look like such a great person. I love animals because I'm such a great person, but they're, they're always having to say it. They're making sure they're putting it on their social media. And it's not actually about, hey guys, let's get behind this. It's more about see me doing good things in the world. Okay, can we wake up to that because I'm sick of it. You sick of it? I'm sick of it. Can we be sick of it together? <laughs> uh, that's not real. That's not what we're talking about. And if you're watching this and you're somebody who goes and gets in everybody's faces about uh, the environment and how we need to be better, you're not helping. Read the room, fix your process, okay? No, nobody wants to listen to somebody preach at their face. I mean, I will get into organized religion if I want that. I didn't, I didn't take that off the likes of you. Okay. So anyway, you can be passionate about the earth. <laughs> you can be passionate about the environment. And when people are open to it, go ahead and talk about it. But this is something where it's like, this seems a little bit quieter. Um, and it seems, <sighs> God, what is happening? Oh my God. Okay. I don't. Oh my God, there's so much more going on than we ever imagined. And it would frighten us. And that's what they're saying now. If, if all the details were exposed, it would frighten us. But they, they don't want you to go down that road. It's just how our brains would perceive it. They're seeing it as, well, this, it's like a leaky faucet that stinks, but we gotta take care of this, okay? And not to downplay the things that are going on on this earth, but they're coming from that perspective of it can be fixed. They're, they even just said, there's still time. There is still time. And we have so much love. You guys, we've come so far. 
we've come much further than uh, maybe we'll give ourselves credit for, or we might even be tempted to say, no, we haven't, look around. We're doing all right, we remember our power. Don't get self-righteous about this. Do not start judging other people, you know, going up and preaching at somebody because they have a plastic water bottle. Not the greatest, we know that. But maybe that person hasn't heard or, you know, whatever. Just don't just don't judge. Just don't be an a-hole, okay? It's pretty easy. <laughs> just don't be an a-hole. You're not helping, okay? So do what you can. Send the love out there. I'm going to shut up before I really get myself in trouble. And let's just get onto the cards. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go back and edit this and probably take a lot of that out and be like, Oof. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm using my new deck. All information will be down below. Or if by chance I forget to put it in, just leave a comment like, hey, you didn't put in the name of that deck. And I'll make sure it goes into the description box. Okay. Let's see what we have here. No, it's animal intelligence. Well, like you guys know the story of octopus, right? An octopus is incredibly intelligent, unbelievably strong. Uh, more about that. Hey, marine biologist, this is your time, okay? <laughs> it's all about you. Yes, do tell. Do tell what you know. Do tell us. You know, and if it's like, well, I don't know about any conspiracy theories exactly, but... Uh, <laughs> But I can, I can say that there's a lot of intelligent life within our seas. And see, and that's just it. People are so focused on extraterrestrials, but there's, there's all kinds of intelligent life that, that we just don't communicate in the same way, right? Uh, something about tigers too. Don't say Tiger King, don't even. <laughs> don't, don't, no, 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 no. It's something about a call to help. Okay, so we have transition. That's interesting. Okay, so there's a, there's an archway there, and then there's this like it looks like it's like a, a ribbon or something. What is this? I don't know. It's right at her legs, and it looks like she has to like step over it or break through it. Of course, there are gorgeous flowers all over here. Um, don't underestimate plants. I don't know. Can you see my little my little plants? But my home is just slightly short of a jungle. <laughs> I have plants everywhere. They have intelligence as well. So this transition card to start off with is transition your thinking. Transition uh, where you focus your power and your energy. For example, we were just talking and going really in depth about people who get in other people's faces about, you need to know this about this, this, and this. Shush, okay? Like, well, you're acting the fool. So I don't, even, I don't think I can take that... <laughs> seriously and you're watering down the argument you're watering down the issue you know people are going to assume that be, that you're just crazy i guess i don't know and you're, they're not going to take anything about that seriously they're not going to take the issue seriously so don't we take that right into how we interact with human beings are there a lot of injustices in this world absolutely okay i mean stuff didn't become sunshine and rainbows overnight but should we get into each other's faces? Not gonna work. All that does is spark the fight in someone. We are self-preserving beings. And so if any sort of kind of threat, especially in our um, kind of stingy kind of world where everybody's kind of uh, at each other all the time, their defense mechanism is going to come out and you're not helping, you're making it worse. Again, I don't feel like this is for most of you out there. <laughs> we could all just hang out in my living room, which we are right now. Welcome to my living room. Uh, and just have coffee or tea or something. So, like, you're my people. I get you, and I think you get me. But um, this would be more for, like, maybe some of you are wanting to be a part of a group, but you don't want to recognize that someone is doing it for their ego to look a certain way. I love giving this example. There's somebody who um, came to me. And this person said that she was wanting, to, I'm just checking out the card. <laughs> I can see it first. Uh, but she was telling me about how she got involved with a charitable organization. She thought she was gonna be doing good work. She got in there and realized that the people in charge of it were incredibly corrupt and hateful. 
hateful. And that's the thing. When we get so wound up in our justice causes, whatever it might be, you're hiding behind a just cause. But you're hateful. You're a hateful person, but not you, but you know, people have some hate in them, but they're saying, but look at me, I'm an advocate for animals. Look at me, I'm an advocate for children. Look at me, I'm an ad, you know what I'm saying? Like going on and on and on and on. It's false. It's not helping. Can I make it any clearer? We can clean up that mess by not giving them power. And if that means that you have to step away from a, a supposed charitable organization and go join another organization or start your own, do it. Uh, shadow self. Yeah, the shadow self. So this is where in us do we have some hatefulness? Where are our triggers? That was really hard to say. Where are our triggers? <laughs> and where, where are you getting triggered in this video? As I'm sitting here saying, hey, stop being so pompous about saving the animals. Putting a lot of energy into making sure you look cute on social media. Why don't you put the phone down and get back to helping the sea life. I don't know. <laughs> the sea. I've seen a seal. Actually, I love animals so much. I really do. But, you know, we have to face our own egos here. Now, shadow self can mean shadow work. Again, pain, fear, all that stuff that we're told not to look at half the time. Uh, but yeah. I mean, there's a lot of energy here. It's kind of, the way I'm interpreting it as a human is like, knock it off. Okay, there's work to be done. Stop making everything like your cause be something on your you know human resume that you can check off the list there's real work to be done okay rant over i think depends on what card comes up and what messages are coming through i feel like the angels wouldn't rant no but they're giving me the messages and they're trusting me with that and and this is how i read whatever message whether it's a personal reading a video I get the message I sit with it get clarity on it and then I sit and I tap into the energy of people who are perhaps tuning in time is not linear so yes even people from the future <laughs> back to the future baby uh, but you know I get pick up on that energy and I and I know then how to put it and sometimes it has to be very blunt and matter-of-fact sometimes it is laying it down and not, I never tiptoe around egos you guys know that um, I put it in the way that it needs to get across okay and yeah there are people who are like that's not right because you're not living up to my expectation of how this should go and I'm like sorry oh man I thought this was gonna have sea life on it but no it's still gorgeous it's a ballerina and it looks like a hummingbird a really big hummingbird <laughs> that's off to the side there. But this is balance, and that's exactly what we're talking about here. Balancing. You know, we're trying to make good in this world, but if people feel like you're judging them or, you know, and grace, yeah, because ballerinas are very beautiful and graceful and powerful. A ballerina, if you just saw her having cappuccino in a shop, you might not think that she could, you know, <laughs> be very strong or whatever. But you have to be a powerhouse in order to be a ballerina, right? Or to be a dancer at all. So that, I think, is, is a big takeaway for this message. You know, be balanced and understand what real strength is. That's what it comes down to. Okay, so then we have faith. Yeah, it might feel like we're coming into dark times or, you know, in facing your shadow self, you might go, you know what, I do that. You know, maybe I get a little too prideful or something like that about what I'm doing just because I want to have a sense of purpose. And I want to, you know, I feel so sad about what's going on in the world. I just want to feel not powerless, right? So not even necessarily going so far as to be empowered, just not powerless, kind of in that, what we might describe as the awful place of in-between, right? Um, I use that in my writing all the time, the awful place of in-between. But yeah, this is saying have faith. This is not, it's not exactly what we think it is, and it's not going to turn out the way that you might be afraid it will. We do have the power to, to change things and to turn things around, but you know what's coming up right now? Ageism random uh let's <laughs> let's just okay so this um this other thing this, they're talking a lot about the shadow self having to do with self-righteousness 
Um, so if you are somebody who says, I do this minimal amount of work and I deserve so much reward for that. I'm entitled to that. The world owes me something. That's one thing. But this ageist uh, thing is coming up. I am 44 years old. Yeah, I get pretty annoyed. Yeah, you know, I've been on this earth for over four decades. <laughs> I, you know, I don't, I, uh, I don't know about y'all. Comment down below. But when somebody comes up to me and they don't have near the life experience I have, and they're trying to tell me how it goes. It's not about an ego, like, you know, I'm, I'm open to their perspective because their perspective is, you know, they've had a different life experience than me, so I'm open to that. But what I'm talking about is when somebody who's like very, very young starts, again, preaching at me about how I should be. And it's my generation that helped fuel that, you know, the worship of this, you, know, you guys are beautiful and I love you, but where, when the heck do we get to this thing of like, oh, we're all a bunch of idiots and we don't know anything. And it's the younger generation that's going to save us. That's not true. We all came here. Talk to your mama Blu-ray over here. Okay. I ain't putting up with your indigos. <laughs> like, no. Why do you think I came just ahead of you? Like, no, that's not the narrative that needs to be. Plus that puts pressure on them. They're not here to clean up our mess, but you can see if you pay attention, there is a bit of that where it's like, we're here to clean up your mess. You messed up the world for us. So, you know, we're here and let me tell you how it is because they've been raised to think that they have more wisdom than anybody else. Again, it's not serving anybody and they've missed the point. Imagine when they hit the age of 30, some of you already have. How to go report down below. Yeah got probably a, a swift kick in the pants like hey you don't know everything and no don't look at generations that are older than yours or people that are older than you and say you don't know anything do you see this whole need to like correct our behaviors because we have allowed too many things to just slide by okay ageism not okay assuming that you know people who are older than you have messed up the earth and now they put this burden on you to fix it it's not true i know it's a huge narrative even amongst the biggest spiritual practitioners it's not true we're all doing our part and when has it ever been okay to judge someone else when, when did that start happening i'm not taking it anymore are you comment down below <laughs> The other thing too is, you know, there, there are things that I have experienced in my life. And certainly, you know, I was coming of age in the nineties. Okay. Very different time. Yeah. The friends era, sex in the city era, um, and a lot of turmoil in this world. And there were a lot of things that were, uh, common sayings and things like that, that are no longer accepted. And in that way, I think that's beautiful. I think we're making a lot of progress in that but then it became this like you guys know what i'm talking about here where it, it started to get like the the language police or something i don't know i think what we're getting at here is that everybody has something to contribute and again it's about harmony and balance so yeah i want to hear again you know somebody who's younger than me i want to hear their perspective i also want to hear the perspective of somebody who's 75. what was it like for you growing up what do you contend with now? Because times have changed. And so where do you always feel wrong? Or younger generation than me. We're gonna just, hi, I'm the one sitting here, so we're just gonna use that as an example. Younger than my generation, where do you feel like people talk down to you? And where do you overcompensate? Or where do you have resentment, planted resentment? We didn't mess up anything for you, honey. No, <laughs> it's all been messy. It's been messy for a long time, all right? And every single person, no matter what time they come onto this planet, what age, what era, what have you, they came in with a purpose and a soul lesson. So they showed up in the environment that was conducive to them learning that lesson. So the judgment that is put upon, I know, there's, there, that gets sticky and we can easily get into self-righteousness. How well is that working for us? Good, are we in world peace? All the problems gone? Is racism eradicated? Misogyny, sexism? Are our children completely safe now? No, let's work on something else, okay? Stop the hate, end of it, stop the hate. 
and we need to stop judging one another, okay? Anyway. Okay, remember how I said, like, nobody wants you preaching at their face? I realized I just preached at your face. Can I take it back? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get the color card. <laughs> Everybody comment, preach at your face. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe that was the example of what not to do. Anyway, that's not even, like, a thought that would normally occur for me, but it was coming up. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know to tell you so here we go indigos we have indigo improve your vision the number is 40 and rainbow connect with spirit and nature this is very much about resetting our indigo nature so again and, and we lead to blessings okay and balance and harmony that's what that all is calmer waters so the idea here and in saying all of that is to understand where again it's all about self-righteousness it's not helpful I'm not saying don't get out there and try to affect change and try to get people to be kinder to one another or make it socially unacceptable to be verbally abusive to one another. I'm not saying that. Uh, yeah, we, we need to keep working on that, but the approach needs to be different because some people have lost their minds. <laughs> they have lost their dang minds and they've gotten very self-righteous over their quote unquote power. But that's not it. That's not it. Here's our peace and harmony. So when we don't get caught up in the very things that are trying to divide us. You didn't see this one sneaking up on you, did you? What this is, remember, I was just saying, we started this indigo worship, put pressure on the kids, thinking they had to save us, clean up the world. That's, I can't even imagine what that is. Like that's gotta feel so overwhelming. And why do they, some of them, not all indigos are doing this, obviously not, but I have come across a few that are kind of like little know-it-alls. And I'm like, where'd you get that from? No, seriously, where'd you get that from? Really, you know that because you've been through it? Because you're like 18. I don't, <laughs> you know, careful. Where did you get that from? We, they have to, you know, be careful here because, you know, if you go into a situation thinking, you know, you could get hit with something that, you know what I'm saying? Like it could be, what I'm trying to say, if you get overconfident, about what you think you know, you're gonna be hit with a hard lesson. So I feel like that's a message that needs to get out there. Plus, we're trying to release you from this pressure, okay? And it does come down to where do we need to be rid of the hate? I know these are big messages, preaching at your face. Preaching at your face, I'm not, <laughs> I'm sorry. I totally realized I, I just did that. I just got all like feisty and everything, but that's okay. Feist is good, feist is good. But we don't want to get, again, I think the bottom line here is stop the hate, stop being self-righteous. Um, and, and pushing never works, right? Pushing never works. Um, you know, pushing someone into our viewpoint or pushing for anything. When we say take a different approach, this is asking us to find our flow around it. Flow does not equal wimpy. Okay, <laughs> flow does not equate to complicit, okay, or complacent. It does not equate to not being active enough. It's working with the energy to be smart about it to affect real change, right? Without anybody feeling at, at odds with somebody else because of their judgment or their perception of them or whatever. Because we, we, this ageism thing, that needs to stop. That, I know, so simple, Just stop it guys, it's, it's all good, right? But no, that's not what this is. This is like, we need to work in harmony with one another, okay? Anyway, this is the longest video ever. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> My battery's about to die and everything. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.